when did climate change become on come on your radar? It's been it's been seemingly a driving force for you. My largest driving interest is this question of how do we relate to the rest of the world around us? And I've I've pursued sort of two main paths to understanding that and to, to learning more about that. And that's through food, and then it's also through climate change. And those are obviously really, really tightly linked because the way that we farm and eat in deforest for farming is a huge part of the, the uh, impact that we have on our planet, including for climate change and climate change impacts all of those. Um, but the food related issues um, are not necessarily quite as dire or time bound as um, global concentrations of greenhouse gases are for um, for humanity. It's a much longer story. Um, you know, I think the latest poll, 72%, I think of Americans um, think climate change is an important issue, um, which is much higher than it has been in past years. And I think to a large degree, that's because we're realizing people are getting hit by hurricanes or droughts or very extreme rainfall events that are helping them realize, oh, something is happening. I see it with my own eyes. Now I'm going to believe it, even though I didn't necessarily believe that it was happening when I only thought about it as happening in a foreign country, or I didn't necessarily want to believe it because it would impact the way that I, you know, reflect on the way that I live. Um, but it is going to mean that I have to change the way I live. I would rather just you know, keep my eyes closed and hope that there's not actually a cliff that I'm driving towards. It would be interesting if they re-aired day after tomorrow, because while it is at an accelerated speed, suddenly you see a lot of the things that are happening in that movie happening in the world today. It wasn't as relevant then as it is now. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, accurate and inaccurate representations of climate change in the media and you're right on that there's a um the the environment into which any thing is said or any thing is made um and released is as important as that thing itself in terms of what impact it has so you know with respect to food i think about it in a very global sense it's also something that everybody interacts with in a very personal way and I'm, I'm partially at, you know, I'm almost as fascinated with that as with the global question, but I feel compelled to try to think about it at a global level because the summation of all those individual um, relationships to food and the need for food um, has resulted in these large scale um, impacts on the world. And, um, you know, I think the stat is that we use the entire area, an area equivalent to South America is farm field and an area equivalent to all of Africa um, we use for pasture in the world um, for grazing of animals. And so that's, that's one of our biggest, those are, those are some of our biggest land uses. Um, and so I think about it in these global scales. And so I've been most interested in the, um, what you could call the demand side or the consumer side. In graduate school, I did a little bit of research on mitigating the problem of food waste and food loss, which is essentially where up to a third or a quarter of the food that we produce doesn't actually make it to a, a human to get eaten because of losses at a different point on the um, supply chain, whether it's on the field because so, some producer in, in the less developed country can't protect their crops from insects or whether it's in a wealthy country where I am served at a restaurant, a meal that is twice as large as I can actually consume and I don't really feel like taking it home. So I just let it leave it and it gets thrown out. Um, so I focus on that. And then I've also focused on meat consumption because um, as someone who's dabbled a little bit in, in sort of economic style thought, the social cost of meat is particularly high. Um, and if the social cost of certain types of meats in particular root from ruminants, which are animals that digest, um, have bacteria and archaea in their, in their rumens, which is like a multi-chambered gut or intestinal system, they produce a lot of methane and also are somewhat inefficient at digesting 
uh, well, they eat grass, which is which is hard to digest. And so as a result of that, they emit a lot of methane. And so I think 10% of global greenhouse gas emissions come from um, cattle or I think from cattle alone. And then another one to four or 5% come from um, other livestock. What um, if you have to leave people with one thing, a quote, a call to action, it can be anything. What would it be and why? Align your life with your values. So that means do work you believe in for a purpose you believe in that aligns with, with where you're coming from. And that way, even if it doesn't succeed in the way you define the success, you can say, I did work that I believed in. I learned things from it and I can continue to improve. And I think that's way better than saying, you know, this is a big problem that I don't know how to solve. And so I'm not going to try. Um, and I think it also living, trying to live in this way where your life is aligned with your values also reduces internal dissonance and makes you feel better. So like, if you feel bad about climate change, do something about it and you'll start to feel a little bit better. If you feel bad about inequality, do something about it and you'll start to feel a little bit better. If you feel bad about your job, do something about it. You'll feel a little bit better. If you have a great idea of any sort that you think could change the world, but you're sitting on it because you haven't figured out everything about it and you're not sure if it could work, do something about it. You'll feel a little better and you might actually do something amazing in the world. So I'm not perfect at doing this myself by any means, but it's something that even though I'm not perfect at, I try to, um, I try to work on because that's better than not trying. So aligning your life with your values is, is the idea.